All right, in this video, I'm gonna go over the top seven reasons to move to LA right now. I think it's the coolest city in the US for a lot of reasons. From the weather, to the nature, to the business opportunities and networking, you can find just about anything you're looking for here. You'll wanna stick around until the end because I go over the one perk of being here that people don't mention that often. Let's talk about it and let's get after it. Hey, if you're new to this channel, I talk about living in Los Angeles and what it's like to work and play here. I'm also a local realtor here and cover real estate topics. If you're thinking about moving here or you have questions about real estate, please reach out. Make sure you tap that subscribe button and click that little bell so you're notified every time I do a new video. All right, let's start with the weather. Mediterranean climate here with sun year round. Sunny and 75 on average for most of the year. It gets a little bit cool in the winter, and there's some cloudiness in early summer. That's where you get May gray or June gloom with overcast skies. A lot of people complain about it, but I actually like the break in sun. If you're light skinned like me, you'll definitely want to be careful and wear sunscreen every day and probably hats as well. I'm actually a skin cancer survivor, so I make sure to be super careful out there. Coming from the East Coast, it's super weird to not ever have rain. Uh, it rains like once a month here for like five minutes. It's pretty crazy. That's the only time my car gets dirty and that's a signal to go hit the car wash. Uh, the other crazy thing about the temperature here is that it varies depending on where you are in Los Angeles. So the main basin area that people know as LA is generally about 10 degrees hotter than the beach cities and the valley north of the basin is 10 degrees hotter than that. Then the real estate as well has gotten super hot in the valley. Uh, so if you have questions about that, please reach out to me. Speaking of the beaches, that's next on our list. And it's not just one beach, it's the entire coast. So even if one beach is crowded, there are other options. Some of the main options are Santa Monica, Venice, Malibu. Personally, I like Manhattan Beach. Uh, it's clean, it's a little bit off the beaten path, and it's great for families. Um, feels like a small town there. One thing about the beaches that people don't really realize is that the water is freezing cold. Uh, it's reasonable to go in the water in the late summer months, but other than that, prepare to freeze if you go in, or you, know, you can wear a wetsuit. It's also advisable to stay out of the water at dawn and dusk when the likelihood of shark sightings increases. You can uh, surf, paddleboard, kayak, uh, any number of other fun activities at the beaches. Then you can also check out Long Beach and rent a pontoon boat in the canals. The beaches get really crowded on the weekends and especially on the holidays in the summer, like the 4th of July. So if you go on one of these days, make sure to go early and mark your spot in the sand. There are really great beaches along the whole state. So if you're looking for smaller crowds, just drive a little bit longer and you can find more secluded spots. Number three on our list is the nature here. Uh, that definitely includes the beaches and also the mountains, canyons, and other state and national parks. Just two hours outside of Los Angeles is Joshua Tree National Park, a huge attraction for nature lovers. Then the local hikes around LA are great. Definitely go and check out Griffith Park and the Hollywood sign and then uh, Runyon Canyon is just west of there. A lot of celebrities hike in Runyon Canyon. Then Topanga Canyon is just north of there and it's really popular with mountain bikers. Just be careful when you're out hiking because there are rattlesnakes. So keep your wits about you. And uh, one of my favorite parks is the Kenneth Hahn State Park, just south of Mid City. And it's got great trails and a playground and a cool little Japanese garden as well. All the parks are great for running too. Just make sure to bring sunscreen and water whenever you're out in nature. When I'm out for hikes, I keep track of time by noting the start time and knowing that it will take at least as long to get back. Uh, it also helps to go with another person if you can. You'll notice in California that just about everyone has a dog 
it must be the weather here. Just, you know, people love being outside. Number four on the list is the food. Man, there are so many cool options here. From Mexican to Korean to sushi to Italian and everything in between. It's super authentic too. I highly recommend the food market downtown on Sundays. Uh, one of them is called Smorgasbord and it has everything you can think of. Food stalls from all over the world. I went there and I got this brisket breakfast burrito and it was the best thing I've ever had. Seriously amazing. Also check out the original farmer's market in West LA. I made a video that included some of that. Uh, it's got all kinds of food options too and uh, you can pick up local produce if you want. Uh, the last big food stall I'd recommend is Grand Central Market right in downtown LA. You will not leave this place hungry. The portion sizes are huge and the food is amazing. I just had some super authentic pork tacos there recently. Number five is entertainment. Just like New York and other big cities, all the main shows come to Los Angeles, whether you're into comedy or film, music, theater, everything is right here. Definitely check out the cool comedy theaters like the Comedy Store and the Laugh Factory. And these don't break the bank either. I went to the Laugh Factory recently and it was $25 a ticket, but the headliner was Dane Cook, which he's a huge name. And you know, that's some serious star power and value for dollar. I really like going to a movie every week and there's plenty of theaters to check out. If you haven't seen it yet, I highly recommend Sean Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. Very cool film. Then, of course, you've got music festivals all over, including the big one, Coachella, out in the desert. It's about two and a half hour drive from the city. Uh, Dodger Stadium is right by downtown, and SoFi Stadium is right by the airport. In 2028, the Olympics will be here. And you can't forget the big theme parks, Disneyland, California Adventure Park, and Universal Studios. Harry Potter World, Jurassic Park, and the new Marvel headquarters are definitely on my list of things to check out very soon. Number six is the opportunities here. Every major industry is represented, whether you're in tech or film or sports or media, finance, it's all here. I like to say that you're only one conversation away from changing your entire life. Your network is your net worth. Being in real estate, I go to a lot of events and I try and meet the big players. One of the best ways to meet people here is through the site meetup.com. There are meetup groups for every kind of thing you can imagine. I host meetups. Uh, whatever your niche is or specialty or your hobby, there are people that want to get together and talk about those things. So I try to go to meetups at least twice a week and I meet all kinds of people and make great connections. LA can be very lonely, especially if you don't have friends or family here or a built-in network like with a job. So you really have to put yourself out there. And one way I've gained some credibility, like I said, is by hosting events myself. So find someone you like and work with them to create an event. Uh, then you're not just attending events, you're also hosting them and you become a bigger player. Uh, if you're looking to network here and you'd like some more ideas, reach out and I'll send you a few more. Finally, number seven is that LA is a port city. You can get anywhere from LAX as hellish as that airport is. And if you hate LAX, there are other smaller airports right nearby. So check out the Burbank Airport or the Long Beach Airport if you want a slightly less crowded experience. You're all the way over on the west coast here, but it allows for some unique travel opportunities. So it's much easier to get to Asia from here. If you want to check out Japan or Vietnam or Thailand, the flights are much cheaper and shorter here. And you're close enough to drive to Mexico, so that's a bonus. Uh, flights to other parts of Mexico or South America are only a few hundred dollars. And a lot of people vacation in Hawaii since it's only about a five and a half hour flight. There are also a lot of cool places to check out right here in California. Close to LA, you've got Santa Barbara, which people sometimes say is for the newlywed and the nearly dead. Uh, so uh, there's a cute little Danish town near Santa Barbara. It's called Solvang, so definitely check out that if you get a chance to. There are some fun things here, you know, in Santa Barbara area. It is a little sleepy. 
but San Francisco is only about a six hour drive north if you're feeling that and San Diego is about two and a half hours drive south then you've got to check out Palm Springs that's about two hours east and the desert is really cool also there's no downsides to living here just kidding uh, there is you know there are natural disasters there's a big homeless problem there's really bad traffic self-centered people uh, but I cover that in another video there are downsides to every city and also ways of dealing with them so that's a quick overview of the top reasons to move to LA I think it's really awesome here and I think you'll love it there's something for everyone more content coming out every week please let me know your thoughts leave a comment below I'd love to hear from you and if you're thinking about moving to Los Angeles or you have questions about real estate please reach out to me I'll continue doing lots of videos so make sure to subscribe and hit that little bell so you know every time I make a new video